Welcome back everybody, this is Cryptic Coding here back with another video. In this video you will learn about how to deal with audios in Godot Game Engine. So before you do that, make sure you watch my other tutorials because you have to learn a lot to learn about how this, uh, uh, the node tree works. So you see that there is a couple of things different if you followed my tutorials. First of all, in the player body, in the audio, I created a node called Audio Effect. In the audio effect here, you can see that there is a, there's a thing called audio stream player. If I just expand a bit. Player 2D. Audio stream player 2D. We will then go to, this is what basically it. So you click on here. You'll go to the stream panel. You will click, uh, click there and we'll click on load. Load, I, cre I have some uh, audio effects to download in the description. Make sure you go down in the description. So we'll go to Assets, Audio, and there is this uh, footstep theme right over here. So you will, uh, you will click on the three is the footstep there and we'll click on Open. So uh, now you can see that there is zero terabytes. So if you go down, the terabytes will less will be less and if you go up the terabyte the db will be up and you can see that so now we will go to uh, the uh, the coding part of this tutorial so let's go to the coding part we'll go up and th as you can see the basic things are there the variables so now we have a ready function which sets the physics and the process both so let's this is the new code time okay so this is the clicking part now if you uh, follow my tutorials you will know that if I go over here physics process there's all the things I have did here all the things that we have did in this in this program but that's this is not related to physics so if, to improve the game F FPS to make it uh, sure that that uh, runs in 60 frames per second we need to do it in the update method or uh, update it's a free process method we don't need, need to use the physics process system so first let me see what is happening here if we hit the uh, UI left make sure make 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 sure that this is, is action just pressed we'll say UI left and we are in the floor so if we hit the left key and we are in the floor we want to get the music node now to get this you need to just write the, uh, the dollar symbol and we'll go to audio effect and audio stream player 2d and before that you need to make sure that the audio effect the node you have been creating there make sure the node is set to uh, name it or uh, whatever the audio effect or audio then we just use a pound symbol to get the audio to this this uh, position. You can change the name over here if you want to. Let me go back. We'll go to music node dot play. So whatever the music inside the node will play that. Now uh, elif it means else if input that gets action just press just make sure it's just. You are right in the right key and we are in the floor. Then we will go there and we'll play the node. Now this is the release part. Now what happens to we need to trigger it once. So make sure to know that you need to trigger it once if it's the audio effect. Now I'm going to show you how you're going to do the background music stuff. But the, uh, the sound effects a bit more harder to do. But in this video I, I will cover it no problem. So this is the release part here. So we else if input that is actually just released make sure it's just uh, UI right if we release the key we need to get the node and we'll stop it and we'll we will if this is in the left we are uh, we input dot is action just released you are left when we hit the left we whenever we release the left arrow key we want to get the music node and we'll stop that so that's basically it the simple if else statements okay so we'll go to the uh, the 2d view and let's play Hopefully you guys can hear it. Make sure my OBS is recording there. Yeah, you you guys should be hearing. And if we hit jump, uh, as you can see, it works really really nice. Okay, so we'll go. We'll cut it out and let me uh, close my OBS. 
Okay, so you have your uh, system to deal with the sound effect. Now, how can we do the background music? So let me use it. So I have another link for the background music. You can find it in the description. So the first thing you want to do is you click on the audio effect. Where we need to add a audio stream player 2D. So make sure this is the audio stream player 2D node. Audio stream player 2D node. And we'll go to the stream function and we can deal with that. You can deal, deal with the pitch scale, playing autoplay. Now we will be uh, we will be uh, using this th this thing right here and you what you can do what is uh, for me the best is go ahead and just uh, rename this thing okay so we will rename this thing uh, to whatever the function that has been uh, there that has been set it up so uh, we will go you can rename these things and do the opposite things so whatever so we will go to the stream function <laughs> I, I, I don't know what I'm saying okay so go to the stream function here and we'll go click on the null and click on load we'll go to intro theme and click on open now there's a couple of things you should change first of all we'll go autoplay on and we will hit the play button <laughs> that's how you do it that's how the intro music works make sure you drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel if you are new in the next video we will cover all about particle systems which is a lot nicer than this thing maybe i maybe i, I don't know so make sure you guys subscribe and i'm gonna see you in the next video peace